In the year 597 BC, Israel as a nation was crushed by the invading armies of Nebuchadnezzar. Jerusalem and Solomon's temple were rubble and memories. Jewish blood drenched the soil like spring rain. Survivors were marched off as slaves to distant Babylon. Canaan was lost. Hope was lost. Israel's glory was ashes. Her bones scattered like dead men. Ezekiel was God's prophet during those bitter years of captivity. And he pleaded for a sign that he could share with his people, a promise for Israel's future that they could carry in their hearts. The Lord answered Ezekiel with a vision. It was recorded in the Old Testament 2,500 years ago. It touches you and me today. The power of the Lord was upon me, and I was carried away by the Spirit of the Lord to a valley full of old dry bones that were scattered everywhere across the ground. And then he said to me, Son of dust, can these bones become people again? I replied, Lord, you alone know the answer to that. Then he told me to speak to the bones and say, O oh, dry bones, listen to the words of God, for the Lord God says, I am going to make you live and breathe again. I will replace the flesh and muscles on you and cover you with skin. I will put breath into you and you shall live and know I am the Lord. So I spoke these words from God just as he told me to. And suddenly there was a rattling noise from all across the valley and the bones of each body came together. But the bodies had no breath. Then he told me to call to the wind and say, the Lord God says, Come from the four winds, O spirit, and breathe upon these slain bodies that they may live again. So I spoke to the winds as he commanded me, and the bodies began breathing. They lived and stood up a very great army. Then he told me what the vision meant. These bones represent all the people of Israel. They say, we have become a heap of dried out bones. All hope is gone. But tell them the Lord God says, my people, I will open your graves of exile and cause you to rise again and return to the land of Israel. And then at last, O oh my people, you will know I am the Lord. <laughs> 